I am playing Marine Mania in part two of this three part series where I play the base game Marine Mania then Dinosaur Digs. My goal will be to explore and have every aquatic animal offered in Marine Mania while being profitable. If I don't, I do a punishment for your entertainment. I have $10 million to do it based on how it went last time, and I'll also feature some Easter eggs too. So let's figure out how does Marine Mania hold up today? Let's go! We're doing Marine Mania, not that uh, dinosaur dig stuff. In the nature of Marine Mania, we're gonna pick a map from the Marine Mania expansion pack, and I'm going to choose the basic map, Medium. And here we are. I am only to have Marine Mania animals and items for this playthrough. First, I would like to choose the Atlantean path and redo that. First thing we're going to do is hire the Marine Specialist, because we will definitely be needing those. This is always my favorite wall. So that's what we're gonna choose. If you complete your exhibit, you can take your mouse and go up and down, of course, it does cost money. We're gonna lift this bad boy all the way. We're gonna start off with the lion's mane jelly. Get a few of those in there. How do jellyfish reproduce? Such fascinating creatures. Take a look and see what these things even like. We got our sea sponge. <laughs> got old barnacles. Red go 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 Seagrass. Oh, they don't like the seagrass. Excellent. The jellyfish are ready. Now there's one exhibit I was really looking forward to making on this video. Da 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 Hello. Ah, that'll do it. Boop. 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 It's good to see all your names there. And thank you for your support. One mistake I made last time was I did not offer enough options for my people to be able to spend money with me, and I need to be profitable by the end of this playthrough. Why did it get all stanky like? I mean, what am I supposed to do? Ah, cleaning the tank. So that's definitely something I forgot about, is the tanks get dirty. Back to the guests. We gotta get that froyo. Get some nachos, because that's nacho cheese. One other thing to know is I heard when you pick the Prairie Dog Cafe, this is the only building that supplies hunger and thirst to the guests. Someone in the comments can you confirm if that's a real thing? More animals and objects are available for purchase. So the animals that got unlocked are the tiger shark, the elephant seal, and I think that's it for those. A brittle sea star. You two are going to be friends. Who you call a pinhead? Man, these jellyfish are dirty. That's one thing that I really love about this game is the attention to detail. And I'm sure that the newer games have it too. But if you see the bottom of the seabed over here is different from the barracudas over here. Whoa, that whale was coming up and doing some tricks. I'm gonna keep this front sector dedicated to these zoo goers because they too deserve to have a good time. Man, these are all getting so filthy. I hired so many marine specialists. That's disgusting, you jellies. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if that'll make me profitable, but hey, at least these stanky jellyfish won't be so stanky anymore. Oh, I need to have some maintenance workers. The maintenance workers apparently don't just repair fences, but they can also empty garbage cans, pick up litter, sick animals in my zoo. Why are there so many sick animals? The tank is too dirty. I hired, how many of you did I hire? Get to cleaning. I'm picking you up too, dropping you in. I know you pay me 800 bucks a month, but I'm just going to go on a walk. Is it because the exhibits are so big? I don't know what else it could be. Let's get the sharks in here. And I just unlocked more. Okay, I got the green sea turtle, the giant Pacific octopus, bottlenose dolphin. Heck yeah. Numerous complaints about the living conditions of the animals in your zoo until you fix their living conditions and make them happy, you will not be able to adopt any new animals? Maybe lower these so they're less difficult to clean, I guess? You guys are literally in the cage and it's so filthy. They're all swimming out. How about you all work together collectively and clean the cage? I don't get it. Okay, one thing I'm seeing is uh, these things get very dirty very, very quickly and it doesn't seem to matter how many marine specialists I have. Guests don't seem to like your zoo very much. Why? Okay, I gotta slow this down. So we are now researching all of the daily funding stuff. That sounds is getting so old. Thank goodness, after a thorough inspection, the zoo has determined the living conditions have greatly improved. Woo, that was close. One thing that I'm finding really refreshing about the Marine Mania expansion pack so far is when I played the original game without any of the DLCs included, a lot of it is based on terrain and placing fresh water or salt water, whereas this one, you place the enclosure, but then instead of doing terrains, which I liked and also didn't like, you can customize the seabed of your enclosures, making each one feel a little bit different, and it plays a little bit differently than doing terrain would be. Ooh, a shark tunnel. That's neat. We're making this one a little bit more guest friendly than the last one, aren't we? Swim shack. What is this? Guests will change into swimming clothes and then have fun swimming around. This building must be placed on water terrain. What? 
And I suppose we just go like that so they can go swimming. Do we have our first swimmer? Oh, someone's already swimming. That is so cool. Look at him go. You know, even as a kid, I never used that building. That is such a cool building. It's so creative. I just unlocked the manta ray, the beluga, pacific walrus, and west indian manatee. Marine specialist training. Oh, thank goodness this is a thing. Marine specialists will be able to walk and swim faster about time. One other thing that I thought was really cool about marine mania was if you adopt animals that have this little star next to them, they can actually perform shows and tricks. And it's an additional way to generate income. This requires one of these star walls. And then you can purchase these grandstands here so people can come and watch. We're going to go with the bottlenose dolphin. <laughs> Let's see what show toys they have. Dolphin Hoop can do that. So you can organize the way that the show is performed and it shows the happiness to the guests and you can organize their placement too and it affects the happiness as you can see. We are now gonna do the same thing for orcas. I think I'm gonna go with three. That way there's more than just two doing the show. Wait, hold on. Oh no. Okay, I can un I can't undo the fight. I can undo the... Look at this. I raised the dang the aquarium so high that I thought I was dropping it into this one, but because this one was... Type F in the chat for that lost shark. I guess the show's getting started. Oh, there they go. That's cool. You can see them calling the shots and everything, and you hear the whistle. Look at that. Oh, and they're jumping through the hoops. This is so good. For the year that this was made, this is 2001. Purchase a boat rental shack. This building must be placed on water train. I love this one. Let's get all of this water back here. There he goes. Look at him kick. Here is another awesome thing hidden in the Marine Mania expansion pack. We're gonna have a special area dedicated to one really unique species. You're not gonna look in your animal section. No, no. You're gonna go into structure and you're gonna purchase a mermaid statue and then place it right here. Oh my word. That is such a cool Easter egg. If you would like a merman, you're out of luck. <laughs> Merman! And there, the mermaid exhibit is built. All right, now that we're done with the mermaids, let's check back and see how the rest of our zoo is doing. Oh my. Oh, I don't know what else to do, to be honest with you. I mean, I gotta sell some of these jellyfish, I suppose. Why are the turts so dirty too? Did I just hear that? I, I don't know if I just heard that right. I think I just heard someone rip a big one. Instant replay, please. Did I just hear that? <laughs> Somebody out there watching the bottlenose dolphin cutting cheese. One thing I did not mention in the last video that I'm gonna point out here, different species of animal, if they can cohabitate, they will happily do so. For example, I've got the Pacific octopus here, and then I've got a giant squid that I've unlocked. Instead of building an entire separate enclosure, I'm just gonna drop the giant squid in there, and they happily cohabitate in the same enclosure. How cool is that? Oh, no, they don't. No. Okay. What I said was true, but not like that. The reason the smile was there was because they hate each other and they wanted to fight. What have I done? Sell these uh, squid and get my octopus back. Marine specialist training two is now available. Yes. Dude, narwhals are such weird creatures, dude. Like, look at that. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't even mean to do that. I was building another exhibit. I built a normal one next to my showcase one and they actually went in there. Now I feel kind of bad for these guys. Like they just live in there and perform all day. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, I forgot the most important one. The great white shark. I just got it. Great white shark has star next to it. What? Oh, that's so cool. Look at that thing go. I love that, dude. That is so neat. And there's one last thing we have to do before we wrap up this video. Just like in the last one, we did Fight Club. Well, this time we're gonna do Aquatic Fight Club, but with a twist. And instead of choosing Marine Mania, I'm gonna go into Zoo Tycoon, grab myself a hippo, get some penguins going on, California sea lion. Oh, saltwater crocs, you name it. Get the tapirs, get some more tigers, get the Asian elephants all over, white bangle tigers. Gotta get more grizzlies. Siberians? And let's see who comes out on top. Oh, they're going ham. Look at this one bear just floating around. It's like, where's my Coca-Cola? Well, it looks like the rest of them are just going to play nicely. So I suppose that means the bears, elephants, and hippopotamus win. Okay. I haven't looked at this in a while. Let's see how I am doing. Net income. Hold on. I'm in the red. I'm bankrupt. No, I did not end up with a profitable part, but I'm going to give myself another chance. When am I going to get that chance? In the Dinosaur Digs DLC video. What's up? That's what's up. I see you. That's your BMW? Mm, that's nice. That's your girl?
Kelly. While being profitable. If I don't, I do a punishment for your entertainment. You ready? Why the f you lying? Why? Why you if I don't, lying? I do a punishment for your entertainment. Oh my god. Stop fing lying. If I don't get it in that video, I will do twice the punishment. So what is my overall impression of the Marine Mania expansion pack? I don't know if you guys gathered this while I was playing it. You could play the Marine Mania expansion pack all by itself. I don't know how much it cost back in the day, but there's an insane amount of things to do. What this DLC is, I would give it 10 out of 10, easy. We will see in the Dinosaur Digs upload if I'm able to actually make a profitable park for once in my life since I've let you down twice. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did, and until next time, I will see you later.